Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are making one of the most, if not the most requested keto ice cream recipes that I get asked to do, and that is some keto butter pecan ice cream. Now, the cool thing about this recipe is we're actually going to make this keto ice cream in a mason jar. So you're not gonna need an ice cream machine or you're not gonna need to do any churning to make this keto ice cream. It's very quick, very simple, and super easy. And maybe best of all is that each scoop has less than two net carbs. Now that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff. Make some low carb keto butter pecan ice cream. First things first, we're going to do a little prep work. So in a small bowl, we're gonna add a quarter cup or 28 grams of raw pecans, and then we're gonna transfer them to a small Ziploc bag. Then after we've done that, we're gonna use a rolling pin to roughly crush our pecans up in the bag. Now, once those are looking good, we're going to set them aside and we're going to cut up three tablespoons or 42 grams of some salted butter and add that to a small bowl as well. Then the final thing we're going to prep is going to be some confectioner's zero carb sweetener. And we'll wanna add three tablespoons or 27 grams of it to a small bowl as well. So once we've got everything prepped, we're gonna set a pan over medium low heat and add our butter to it. Then we're gonna work our butter around the pan just to help it start to melt. And then when it does, we can add our crushed pecans to it along with the sweetener that we prepared earlier as well. So after we've done that, wanna use a spatula to continuously mix and combine all of those ingredients together so that the butter and sweetener start to caramelize. Also, during this caramelization process, I like to add a little touch of salt to the butter pecan mixture. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there, and then I'm gonna continue to cook the mixture down until it's a dark amber color like this. Then when it is that color, we can set the pan aside and let our butter pecan mixture cool until it sets. So. Once that solidifies, we can start making our mason jar keto ice cream. And as you're seeing here, to start that process, we're gonna add seven ounces or 205 milliliters of heavy cream to a large mason jar, along with a half a teaspoon or two grams of vanilla extract. Then for some added flavor and deliciousness, I'm going to add the seeds from a quarter of a vanilla bean, and I highly recommend that you do the same because it's gonna add a ton of flavor to your ice cream. Anyway, after we've got that in there, we're gonna break up our butter pecan mixture into crumbly pieces like this, and then we're gonna add those pieces into our mason jar. Now, once we've added all those pieces in there, we're gonna add our keto-friendly sweetener, and I highly recommend using this stuff, allulose, to sweeten up your keto ice cream with, since it will keep your ice cream creamy for days after you make it. So with that said, want to use four tablespoons or 36 grams of it to sweeten our keto ice cream up without adding any carbs. Then when we've added that into our mason jar, we're going to screw the lid on and shake everything up just until the cream doubles in size. And this should only take a minute or two to happen. So make sure you don't overshake it because if you do, the consistency of your keto ice cream is gonna be off once it's done freezing. And speaking of freezing, when you've got the cream to thicken up in the jar, you'll wanna freeze it for at least five hours. Then after that amount of time has passed or maybe even a little bit more, you can unscrew the lid of the mason jar, get your ice cream scoop out and dig in and check out how creamy this keto ice cream turns out if this isn't the best butter pecan keto ice cream recipe then i don't know what is anyway as always check out the video description below for more info on today's recipe i hope you enjoy it chef's kiss i'll see you in the next one